Hello everyone. Today we will be styling me. <laughs> Okay, but for real, today we're starting in the first video for my Bill Cipher series. We're gonna be styling as a wig. I'm so excited. I feel like when it comes to human Bill Cipher, the hair is kind of like one of the places where people are like most able to express themselves and kind of decide how they want to do their character design. The one I'm going for is based off of the fan art that I see everyone kind of doing their costumes off of which is uh, like essentially half yellow and half black but it's kind of like a deep side part um, so I'm going to be lightly spiking the wig and styling it to just make it look a little more floofy and amazing let's get started I got this wig on Amazon it is actually listed as a Bill Cypher wig um, it's pretty decent you know I mean Amazon wigs are always going to be hit or miss um, I just got it for the convenience. I didn't. I really didn't want to have to dye the wig just because I'm not experienced in that. And um, when I saw this, I was like, oh, perfect. Well, this is already done for me. And then I just have to style it. In the black, kind of near the part, there is a lot of bald spots where the web's just like... I don't know if that's showing up. You can kind of see... Oh, excuse my nail. You can kind of see like here and here the the wig is uh wig heads showing through a little bit again you know that's what you get with amazon quality if um if i knew what i was doing i could go in and add some more wefts but i am just gonna roll with it you know um the wig cap is black so that helps in that area um so I also got this wig head on Amazon, I got a bunch of tea pins on Amazon, and I got this really handy dandy wig stand that just like attaches to a table. Um, they sell wig tripods as well, but they're kind of expensive, um, and I figured that this would be fine for my, my needs. Uh, another thing that you can see is that there are some black strands in the yellow part and there are like some yellow strands in the black part so the first thing i'm gonna do is just go through and pluck those out because i really want the color divide to be very distinct i'm gonna be uh, styling this based off of Umbra and Witch's wig styling tutorial, which I will link below. But essentially, the first step is to backcomb the sections that you're going to be spiking. Um, I'm only going to really be spiking up on the crown where the yellow is. Everything else will just kind of be styled um, to be out of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and start backcombing in this section. So the basic principle for this type of styling is just to backcomb the section you want to spike, spray it with some kind of intense hairspray. I'm using the got to be glued hairspray, which is kind of like the hallmark one you see everyone using for wig styling. And then you just heat the section with a ideally a hairdryer. I'm just using my heat gun on the low setting uh, and this kind of holds the spike that you made in the position that you put it. I honestly think Buddha is going to end up being in every one of my videos because he just loves to be near me when I'm filming so enjoy a few clips of this cute little baby wiggly little stretchy boy. I did cut the wig in some places where I thought it was necessary. I'm just taking house scissors and trying to cut upwards, you know, that fancy styling technique that people use, and then just following the same procedure to spike down that piece. I redid the top little pointy part a bunch of times because I couldn't quite get it the way I wanted to. Um, I think I finally got it somewhat right this time around. The final part of styling this wig was just going around the entire thing 
and taking out little sections to spike just slightly so that they'd stand out from the rest of the hair. I wanted the wig to have a little bit of a PC texture just so it had a little bit more dimension and didn't look like it was just straight out of the bag from Amazon. Alrighty, so here is the finished wig. Doo, 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 doo. You can see I just kind of textured the sides a little bit just to give it a little more depth and interest. Um, and then I have this side swept over so that it's out of my face a little bit more. This is also the side with the eye patch. So if I want to do it without the eye patch, I can still wear the wig and have it cover the eye. And then I just have this little doot doot right here. Yeah, and I think it's all finished. Alrighty, so that's my Bill Cypher wig all finished. Next, I'm going to get started on the sewing portion, which is going to be the vest and the gloves. Pretty nervous for both of those again because I'm not a seamstress and especially structured clothing is scary to me, but I guess you'll just have to stay tuned to see how I do. Ooh. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, please consider subscribing. I have new videos every Wednesday. If you like to see the finished product of these projects, my Instagram handle is Zini Tree Cosplay and you can see all of my finished work there, as well as new stuff that maybe there will be videos for in the future. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.